shit. Howdy folks and uh, welcome back to Aaron's Vulgar Kitchen. Now, two recipes today, alright? Kind of a challenge, but fuck it. We're gonna do it, alright? When you last saw us, we made a nice side dish, these little shell pasta things with some bacon and peas and all kinds of goodness. Well, that was our snack. Since we're making food for lunch this week, just a snack ain't gonna cut it, all right? If you're skinny like me, all right, you need to eat about 400,000 calories a day. You're eating constantly just to stay looking like goddamn Callista Flockhart, okay? Fucking Olsen twins or some shit. So what we are gonna do is now we're gonna make a main course. Because on Aaron's Vulgar Kitchen, I kind of like food, I kind of like cooking, and I sure as fuck like drinking. Um, shit, let's get some drinks going, alright? That's, that's kind of important. Now, I will warn you though, for those of you that are inexperienced out there in the world of cooking and the world of drinking, maybe even the world of smoking, shit, alright? You don't want to mix up your alcohols too much, okay? If you're doing brown, stick to brown. If you're doing clear, stick to clear. We're doing fucking green, alright? So we'd better stick to green. Today's drink, once again, it's nice, and delicious, absinthe. That's going to be our muse again today for this meal. So let's get this drink ready. Alright, so what we've got here is a nice lovely absinthe with wormwood all right now the wormwood isn't what makes you hallucinate okay back in the day when all fucking toulouse lautrec looking motherfuckers were going around drinking this shit out in france okay there's some bathtub ass shit some random dyes some all kinds of crazy chemicals and shit all right that's what's making them hallucinate with or without the wormwood you are not gonna hallucinate under this shit unless you drink enough of it which we aim to find out. So, what we're gonna do here, take our absinthe and like we said last time, we're gonna get a nice two ounce pour of that beautiful green antifreeze looking shit going. Pour that right into our glass, okay? Cork this bad boy off, clear that to the side, okay? Now, special trick and I think it's fucking cool. We're gonna set this bitch on fire a little bit, all right? Let it burn, let it burn. Oh, one out, shit, shit, shit. All right, you see that little bit of blue flame? That's what we wanna do. We just wanna let it cook off a little bit. Makes it freaking awesome, okay? Blow it out. I'm gonna take my sugar here. Ow, that's hot, fuck. Put my spoon on top of the glass. It's a nice slotted absinthe spoon to let the sugar go through. That goes on top of the glass. Dump the sugar in the water for a little bit. Now, sugar starts to absorb some of the water. And take them shits and put them right on top of the slotted spoon. Okay, now, we've got a third of a cup of water. It's gonna get slowly poured over the sugar through the slotted ass absinthe spoon. And what's that gonna do? Well, it's gonna dissolve the sugar cubes down into the water. Oh God, that looks nice. You see how that color changes as the water gets added into the absinthe there and makes it all nice and cloudy, releasing what absinthe heads call the green fairy. Now, I think that's a uh, like a storybook kind of fairy, not like a mm, hey boys kind of fairy, but it's hard to say with absinthe, you never know. Alright, that's the last of our water there. So we're gonna take our spoon and just slosh this shit around. Yeah, get that sugar all nice and mixed in, get that water through the absinthe. And there we go. Now we're ready to drink. Oh. oh, shit. Fuck, yeah. Mm. Oh. God, that's nice. Okay, so now that we got our fucking drinks going, 
let's take a look at what we're going to be cooking today. We have here a little bit of a special treat. We're going to cook a little German today, all right? German Italian recipe. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Alphonse Schubeck is a pretty well-known German cook. Uh, he owns like half of the main square out in Munich there, and his recipes are really fantastic. He likes to use a lot of fresh stuff. Stuff is very intricately seasoned, but don't be afraid. This isn't really going to be that hard. Okay, what we're making is called Farfalle mit curry sauce und Händelbrust. Okay, that is a bow tie pasta with a curry sauce and chicken. Okay, yeah, yeah, genau. Der Aaron kann Deutsch sprechen. Okay, get the fuck over it. All right, learn fucking German. For those of you that can't, however, mm, I suppose I could be cool and translate for you. Why not? Um, all right, so besides the absinthe, let's take a look at our ingredients and see what we're going to be using today. The farfalla, okay? It's just a fucking bow tie. You see that shit? I ain't got to get all fancy. Now this is the store brand. It costs a buck instead of a buck fifty. It's goddamn pasta. I don't need to get all stupid with... Oh, shit! Fuck, son, you see that bullshit? That looks just like the shit we just cooked. Fuck, that's like our bacon and peas and shit. God damn. The recipe stealing sons of bitches. Fuck you, essential every day. Eat my goddamn ass. Let's take a look at what we got on the stove. Uh, we need some vegetable bouillon, so we've got a small saucepan to make that in. We're going to cook some pasta, so we got a large stock pot with some water in it that we're going to use for that and uh, we're also going to be using this fantastic French oven um, you know I speak German not French so I guess I could butcher that and say it's Le Creuset um, these are some bad ass fucking pans alright this is about a five quart French oven it's cast iron it's enameled on the inside Bong. yeah that's right okay so that Enameled cast iron keeps you from having to season it, it keeps stuff from sticking to it, and it makes a really great cooking surface. All right? In Aaron's vulgar kitchen, in Aaron's vulgar kitchen, we don't use Teflon coated shit, alright? That comes off in your food, gives you fucking brain cancer. And I'll tell you what, alright? When you're using that Teflon bullshit, okay, there's a lot of people that have like small birds and other shit in the house, alright? So when you're using that Teflon bowl, and you cook off that fucking Teflon, get it all hot, it off-gasses. I got news for you folks. It releases fucking chemical gas. And it's been known to kill small birds. Okay? Killing small birds, like, I'm not a bird. But like, and people will say, God damn, Aaron, you and your vulgar-ass fucking kitchen, look at you. There you are, you're going, you're lighting up another fucking cigarette. Yeah. I'm lighting up another fucking cigarette. Eat my ass, okay? If I smoke a cigarette around a little bird, it doesn't kill that little bird with one cigarette, does it? No. But if I heat up that pan and that bird drops dead, that's some shit that I don't want in my house, alright? I'm gonna build up a nice protective coating in my lungs with this cigarette to keep that shit from getting into my system. Oh god. Fuck, before we get started, Shit, you guys, I need to piss, but like, there's too much going on. I'm not trying to go to the bathroom, so I'm just going to piss in the sink. Hold on. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Way better. Way, way better. Oh. Oh, uh, after all that drinking, that feels good. Alright, now let's go ahead and wash our hands since we're going to be handling food. That also rinses some of the excess piss out of the sink. Now on our last recipe, we put a little bit of pot of, uh, water in the pot, use the water cooker, and then uh, 
you know, added it all together. Today, since I've got a lot of prep work to do, I'm going to take this water and I'm going to put it on a medium heat. That'll get the water started warming up so that, uh, you know, when I'm ready to cook, all i got to do is fire that up to high and in a couple of minutes our water will be boiling. Um, I'm also going to start heating up this pot here. Um, our French oven. Um, it's not a Dutch oven because it's a French pot, Le Creuset. Um, I'm going to put that bad boy on about three and a half to four there. Now, the great thing about cast iron is that you don't have to cook very hot, right? You give the pot time to warm up slowly, and then it's brilliant. You don't have to have it on high heat and all that bullshit. You just let it warm up nice and slow, and then it's just perfect. It holds its heat. It distributes even heat across the surface of the pan. It's really good. Hey, get out of the kitchen. Get out of the kitchen, little puppy. Thank you. Good girl. Good girl. Who's a good puppy? Who's a good puppy? No. Yes. Do you have daddy issues? Do you have daddy issues? You've got to be in the same room as daddy. Oh. Uh, let's start to get this going for the vegetable uh, bouillon. I'm just going to turn that front pot on to five for about now and uh, just to start that warming up. Um, to make our bouillon, we're going to grab, when it says uh, 400 milliliters of water and add that into our small pot. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to add two not quite so heaping teaspoons of the bouillon mix to the water and I'm gonna let that sit in there for a while. Um, this stuff is good when it boils so actually I'm gonna crank that up to about seven and a half on the heat index. Oh shit son! Ah oh, it's getting hot in here! So there's a garlic clove from a garlic bowl. All right. What some people like to do to get the skin off of it Fucking papery ass skin on there. You got a little nub on the end. We gotta get that off of there, alright? Nobody wants to eat that bowl. So, some people like to take the flat edge of a knife and just kinda smush that a little bit. And then, what that does is makes it easier to peel off. Alright, see there, you can loosen up that skin real nice and you can peel it off. I don't necessarily like doing it that way just because see here it broke my garlic some of the juice started coming out I don't want that okay so I'm gonna if I was doing it that way you'd have to cut that little nub off of the end you don't want that fuck that shit alright I don't like that I don't like crushing my garlic getting juice leaking all over the place I rather just take it from the start with the paper on and cut off that little nub. Alright, then it works kind of like a banana peel where I can just go in, massage it around in my fingers a little bit to loosen that skin up and that lets me peel it right off. Now my garlic is still intact, it has no skin on it and uh, it's not leaking that precious garlic oil all over the place. All right, so I'm going to continue with that method. Um, you know, you can do it however the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. Like, it's your goddamn kitchen. I got my four cloves of peeled garlic. And uh, to help them to infuse into the mix a little bit, I'm just going to chop them up into some pieces. We have to remove the garlic and the ginger and the apple slice. So. What I'm going to do to help facilitate that, I've got, uh, bruh. Bitch, give me some shit. Uh, I want some shit. Fuck you. I'm going to take this little tea thing here, and I'm going to put that largely chopped garlic, chopped in large slices. I'm just going to put that into this little uh, tea fucker here. And that's going to help us to remove it. You'll see how that works in a little bit. All right. 
So I've got my garlic loaded in. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Mm. I'm going to set that off to the side. Meanwhile, while we've uh, been working on the garlic, we've started boiling a little bit over here, so we're going to add the curry powder to this mix. So, the recipe calls for a tablespoon of mild curry powder. Mild? Fuck that shit. So I'm going to take, you know, this hot curry powder. Fucking Germans, bunch of goddamn pussies. I'm going to fill it most of the way up there, almost full, with the hot curry powder. And I'm going to take my mild, pussy, pansy-ass fucking German powder over to the stove with me. Alright, now, over at the stove we see we've got almost full of the hot curry powder. I'm going to hold this over the pot and add in pussy powder until it's heaping. And then I'm just going to dump that shit in. This is also a good time to turn our temperature down a little bit back down to around five since we got that boil to get that vegetable uh, bouillon all dissolved real nice. Um, we see our water is continuing to heat up a little bit over here, which is good. Okay, so the other thing that we needed to put in with the curry powder and the vegetable bouillon is our cream. Cream. Alright, I'm just gonna shake that bastard up a little bit. What's the recipe call for, right? Recipe calls for 120 grams of this shit. We're gonna take that over and add that in. Ah, shit, I fucking sloshed that shit out when I was, st you know what, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Fuck that shit, it's all good. We're just gonna stir that shit around a little bit. Let that cream get in there with that other bowl. Right, so, after the cream we needed to add about 20 grams of butter. Uh, cold butter. I'm just gonna lob this sucker off at about, uh, about the one and a half tablespoon mark should be good. Holy shit, folks! What the fuck? Look at that! Jesus Christ! 21 grams! Suck my fat, hairy cock! That was perfect! Alright, I didn't need to measure that bowl. All I needed to do was guess, and that's what cooking's all about. There's our pan, there goes the butter, oh shit, it's hot, oh fuck, god, I'm melting, oh Jesus, sweet Jesus, why am I melting? Alright, fuck it. So once that butter melts down, the other shit that's supposed to go in there is like a damn apple slice. I'm just gonna take this, I washed it. I cut off an end and I cut off a slice. What that's going to do by being open on both sides is that's going to allow the juices to soak out. Okay? And I wish not, want not. Oh god. That's tart. I'm going to eat the rest of that shit. Okay? Apple's supposed to go in and two slices of ginger. Alright? Ginger's got this skin on it. Now you can take a paring knife and sit there all day trying to cut it off all dainty like. Fuck that shit. I ain't got time for that. I'm gonna use a motherfucking potato peeler. And I'm just gonna go to it. I'm just fucking take that bull right off of there. Alright. I'm gonna cut off the stump. And our recipe called for two slices. So, fuck you. I'm gonna make it Three slices, haha. <laughs> Got the three slices, I'm gonna use another little tea caddy thing so that it's easy to get that ginger out of there, all right? I don't wanna be fishing in a fucking pot for ginger all day, so I'm just gonna use this nice little tea egg that'll allow everything to diffuse through without pissing me the fuck off trying to get it out. So now back over at our uh, well, thing we see that the butter's melted nicely. I'm gonna throw in an apple slice, add in this little tea egg full of ginger. Put that bitch on the side. And I'm gonna toss in this other tea shit with the garlic in it. Alright, now that the sauce is going, let's get our chicken ready. Piece of chicken, and uh, it's been dried a little bit. I'm just going to cut this into strips. 
and then uh, pull that bitch around and cross cut it. We're looking for like centimeter by centimeter cubes of chicken. We've got our chicken cut up now. I'm going to wash my hands to get the raw meat off. Now seriously, that's an important step. You don't want fucking raw meat on your hands, you don't want piss on your hands while you're cooking. So washing's okay. All right. Now that we got the chicken dealt with over here, let's uh, have some more absinthe. Mmm. Alright. And let's take care of these green onions. One thing we don't want on our green onions is the roots. I'm gonna take that off at a slight angle just to get rid of the roots. I wash these off after bringing them home from the store. Sometimes they have dirt in them. If you bite into a piece of dirt, it feels like you broke your goddamn tooth. Not trying to have that. Fuck that. Alright, fuck that shit. Um, I'm gonna peel off some of the more raggedy looking green pieces. Um, some of the ones that just like, look like they're all fucking busted up and like, dog's been chewing on them or some shit. Fuck that shit. It just Tuck it into the garbage disposal there. Fuck that. Fuck that. Mm, this one here is all busted. Fuck that shit. And what we've got left, we're going to bunch up here. And we're going to just at an angle cut them into about a quarter of an inch pieces here. The recipe says to use only the white. Why's it gotta be white, right? This ain't racist up in here. Fuck that shit. I don't like racist ass motherfuckers. I like the green parts of green onions, all right? That part's good, I'm, so I'm gonna use some of that too. Okay, so there we go. Got some green onion chopped up. This bit's left over, because it looks kind of raggedy. I don't need that much. Fuck that shit, all right? Just fuck that shit. Okay. We do need, however, some more goddamn absinthe. We need about a tablespoon of oil, that's uh, about that much oil going into our nice preheated French oven there. Oh god, that's hot. Yeah, it's cast iron, folks. Make sure to use a pot holder to move that shit around. Slosh that oil a little bit, get it coated all evenly. We got the oil in there, we're going to add our, our chicken. While that chicken's heating up, we're going to take some uh, some sea salt, grind it in there. You know, this is all subject to taste. How much salt you think you want, it's all a guessing game. Get some goddamn pepper in there too. Using this pepper mill, just grinding away and grinding away and grinding away. So with the salt and pepper on top, this is about what you see. And uh, you see that chicken starting to cook through already. It's still stuck to the bottom of the pan right now, so we're going to leave it. It's not ready to be sir stirred until it's unstuck from the bottom of the pan. That's an uh, interesting little technique, you know. You let it go, you let it go, you let it go. If you have to pry it up from the bottom of the pan, it's not ready to be turned yet. If it comes up easily off of the bottom of the pan, it's ready and you're good to go. Alright, now that we have our chicken going, uh, let's cook this water all the way up on high. Let's finish getting that going. Just gonna pour some salt in there. I'll add a little flavor that'll help it boil. Shit, just throw some salt in there. It's all good. Now well, that water's finishing cooking, we see our chicken comes up nice and easy from the bottom of the pan now. So I'm gonna give that a good stir. And, uh, you know, break up the pieces that are stuck together a little bit. Um, and we're going to add the green onions. I'm just going to slide in. Shit, shit, they're fucking everywhere. God damn it. Fuck. Fucking green. Ah, Jesus Christ. That's fucking hot. All right. So we got the green onions in there. And, uh, ow. Shit, that hurt. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stir that around a little bit. 
Well, shit, folks. What the fuck are we supposed to do while that goddamn water's waiting to boil? Uh, fucking smoke a cigarette? Mm. Drink some goddamn absinthe. This is break time. Shit. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So. So, now that we got our water boiling, we're gonna add that bow tie pasta in. Gonna take the heat down from high to about eight to keep it from boiling over. We're gonna set our timer for oh eight minutes, not ten, because we want it to be very, very al dente, very firm. Stir the chicken while we're over here, which is on a mild heat. Very good. We're gonna stir the sauce around a little while we're over here. Keep that going. Shit, shit! Fuck! Alright. Fuck. Escapees. Ugh. Fuck. Alright. So. Now we've got the pasta going. Now a little bit of time. Alright. So now we got the goddamn pasta going. What do we have next? Alright. So when the pasta's done cooking, in an Sieb abgießen und gut abtropfen lassen. Alright. When it's done cooking, we're gonna pour it out in a colander and uh, let it dry real nice. We don't wanna rinse the pasta, okay? Fuck that. No, you gotta rinse the pasta so it doesn't stick together. No, you don't. Because what's next after we run it through the colander? Die Nudeln wieder in Topf geben und mit der Curry Soße erheizen. Alright, we're going to put the noodles back into the pot they came from after we've run them through the colander and we're going to add that sauce that we've been cooking. Yep, and we're going to let it heat up again. Okay, that's going to cook the sauce into the noodles really well. You know, we're stopping the noodles early so that's going to give them a chance to finish up cooking. So they're a proper al dente instead of a real, real, real fucking al dente. Alright. Then, uh, after that, zum Schluss das Hähnchenfleisch und die Frühlingsiebeln unterruhen. Okay. We're gonna stir in the fucking chicken and the green onions. Alright. And that's really it. That's really it. That's all we've got left to do. So let's check on how things are going. So over here we got the chicken pretty much done. I'm going to poke it with the spoon a little bit. It breaks up. Pieces that are broken aren't pink in the middle. Chicken and green onions are looking just about how I want it to look. Let's go in close. I'm going to break a piece up. And it's not pink on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to take that temperature down to low, because we're good there. This shit has about four minutes left to go, so we're going to give it a nice stir. Fuck it. While I'm over here, I might as well give the a little sauce a stir. And this is about a good time to take that bullshit out. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab this tea egg, let it drip out, and, uh, shit, that's going to make a mess. I'm just going to real quick, fuck that shit, into the sink. Alright, this guy here, this other T fucking Pac-Man looking, god damn it. Ah, come here. This is better than fishing out a bunch of cloves though, I tell you what. Alright, so this Pac-Man looking motherfucker, I'm just gonna grab him out. Oh, it's a little hot. And fuck that shit. Back into the sink. Oh man, he splatted the wall. Fuck it. Alright, now, apple slice. Apple slice is done. I'm gonna pull that out, let the sauce run off, and uh, here it goes. And fuck that shit. Into the sink. And we got three minutes left. So, what do we do with three minutes, folks? I know. Shit. Smoke goddamn cigarettes and drink motherfucking absinthe. Okay, so, mm. oh, that's nice. 
Oh, that's nice. God, that's fucking great. Oh. You feel the kitchen muse coming out from within you with it. Fucking absent. Oh. Jesus, that's good. Okay. Mmm. God damn it, what's that fucking beeping shit? Oh. Pasta's done, so let's take care of the pasta. You turn off the heat to the pasta and that shit's gonna be hot. So I'm gonna pick it up with a pot holder. We're just gonna bring that over to our colander. Pour all that bullshit. Oh my god. Into the colander. Toss this around a little bit to clear it out. That pasta goes back into the pot that it came from. Now all that sauce shit that we made, that goes on top of the pasta. Oh, pour all that nice yummy curry sauce in there. I'm even going to spoon that out a little bit. Make sure we get all of that nice, yummy ass fucking sauce out of there. Okay, sauce burner goes off. And I'm just gonna stir that into the pasta. Now the burner's still hot, the pasta's still hot, the sauce is still hot, all that shit's still hot, all right? So, you know what? Just to be on the safe side, let's take the burner for that pasta and we're going to turn it on to three. It's going to give it a little heat to cook that sauce into the pasta. Warum du sagst? Du sagst warum? Ahon, warum müssen wir die pasta einmal erheizen? Okay, so smoke a fucking cigarette while I tell you, okay? Die Nudeln wieder in den Topf geben und mit der curry sauce erheizen. Okay, we need to heat it up <sighs> with the fucking noodles and sauce. So that's what we're doing here. Okay, folks. Sauce and noodles. Now that that's heating up, sauce and the noodles, what's our next step? Zum Schluss das Hähnchenfleisch und die Frühlingssiebeln unterrühren. So let's do that. There's the pot. Here's a pot holder for this shit. And the chicken and green onions with all that juice that came out. We're just gonna spoon that all off right into that bullshit there. Okay. Make sure to get all those green onions out because I don't like wasting food. Get all that pepper scooped out of there. Okay, there we go. Ow! Shit, that's heavy. Fucking cast iron, man. That's heavy as fuck. I'm just gonna stir chicken and green onions around the goddamn noodles. Get that shit all nice and fucking coated and shit. Bring this pasta shit over, set it on a cutting board so we don't fuck up our goddamn counter. Spin that shit around. Oh man, I need another fucking cigarette. Mm. Oh, there we go. And kind of a serving ladle going here, and we're gonna stir and grab. Alright, that helps us get some sauce and some shit all together in the spoon. When we put it in these bowls. Three! Ha 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 ha! Three! Three serving ladles full of curry chicken pasta bullshit. Okay, now oh, what's left in the pan, you know. Shit! Shit! Fuck! So there's about enough in the pan to top these bitches off, alright? They're not completely full. 
We're gonna take what we have left and divvy it through the rest. Here we go. Here's another for you. There's another for you. There's another for you. That one's got the most, this one's got the least. We're gonna take the last little bits. Put it in there. Alright, fuck that fucking spoon. Scoop what's left out of the fucking pot into there. And we're good. There's three new fucking lunch meals. All full. So, how's this week gonna look for lunch? Really fucking good. We got leftover beef bourguignon. We've got some of that new bacon and pasta shell shit. And we've got these fucking things here. So let's get some lids onto this chicken and curry pasta bowl. I'm gonna squeeze the air out and lock those air vents. I'm gonna put this shit in the freezer. So now that we got that shit done, let's fucking celebrate. Let's drink the rest of our absinthe here. 101 proof, by God. Ugh. Mm. Let's finish up this cigarette. I want to thank you all for joining uh, Aaron's vulgar motherfucking kitchen, alright? Uh, where, you know, we don't take ourselves too seriously, alright? Like, Food's supposed to be fun. Food's supposed to be delicious, all right? It's supposed to be some nice, healthy thing that you can take into work and, it, you know, you come back from the microwave. Everybody's like, God damn, what's that nice, lovely food you made there? It smells so good. All I have is this healthy choice frozen-ass fucking meal. You're like, man, fuck your goddamn frozen choice bullshit. I made this motherfucker by hand, son. We're talking about curry chicken up in this bitch. And they're like, oh my god, curry chicken, that sounds so wonderful. It's got this bow tie pasta and everything, and all I got is this frozen shit that I paid way too much money for. You're like, god damn, I tell you what, shit, all I done paid for this bull was a couple of bucks. Get me some chicken, Get me some garlic, get me some green onions. That's the only fresh shit. The rest of the stuff, shit, the pasta, the salt, the seasonings, all that, you have that on hand in the house already. All right, it doesn't have to be that hard to make something exciting, fresh, and delicious that every motherfucker at work's gonna be jealous of. So now you're ready for that. You've enjoyed another exciting episode of Aaron's vulgar ass goddamn motherfucking kitchen. Is there any absinthe left? Oh. Yeah, there was a drop left. There we go. Thank you all for watching and uh, see your ass next time. Oh, yeah. Fuck! I forgot to say. Alright, shit. <laughs> Hold up. This episode is brought to you by the letter absinthe and uh the letter camel turkish golds all right because drinking and smoking is the best way to fucking cook up in here all right we'll see y'all next time